Hi, I'm Kyle from Huawei Developers and welcome to Develop with HMS Core. Today, I'm going to show you how to integrate Huawei SiteKit into your app. Huawei SiteKit allows your app to provide users convenient yet secure access to diverse location-based services, helping your app gain more users. It provides the following five main functions. The first one is autocomplete, which automatically fills in a place's name and address based on keywords that the user inputs. The second function searches for places around the current device location. The third function provides a detailed search for obtaining specific information about a place. The fourth function is reverse geocoding, which searches for a place's address based on its coordinates. The last function is time zone query, which queries the time zone of the current location based on its coordinates. Currently, Huawei SiteKit covers over 130 million places in over 200 countries and regions and supports 13 languages. Now, let's look at how to integrate Huawei SiteKit into your app. First, open Android Studio, select Empty Activity, give your app an app package a name and then click Finish to create an Android project. Then, on the official website of Huawei Developers, go to Console, Huawei App Gallery, select My Apps, click New, and enter the required information to create a new project. Now, click the Develop tab. In the Displayed dialog box, enter the app package name configured in Android Studio, and click Save. Click Overview, and download the AG Connect Services JSON file. Next, move the downloaded AG Connect Services JSON file to the app directory. Open the Build Gradle file, add the Huawei Maven repository, and then add the App Gallery Connect dependency in Dependencies. Open the Build Gradle file in the app directory, add the App Gallery Connect plugin, the Huawei Site Kit dependency in Dependencies and the app signature information. Then let's open the activity main file and add the required text view and edit text blocks to display the search results and configure search keywords. Next, add the global variable in the main activity file. Bind the basic view components in the onCreate method and use search service factory to initialize search service. Now, Add the search method. Create a text search request object in this method and set the request content to that which is configured in the edit text block. Now let's execute the search request and add a listener callback for it. After the request is successful, pass return data for the request and display the passed text in the text view block. And there you go. You've now integrated Huawei Sidekit into your app. Let's give it a test and launch the demo app by entering Eiffel Tower in the query box and tapping search. The search results will be displayed shortly. Well, that's all for today's episode. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments area below or visit Huawei developers website and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.